Oh, it's not a good morning. People just keep on killing us. You know, it's terrible. Of course, we're afraid of people in our neighborhoods killing each other. Yeah, we're afraid of that, but um, I'm more afraid of the, of the police because there are so many cases you guys don't know about that the police have killed black people and white people have killed black people and got away with it. You don't even see every time how many missing black people there are. And that could have been a good old night, a good old night for the boys, you know. You know, when my son was young, they beat him in, 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 in the police car and told him he wasn't a, a unrolled student and threw him out the car. I think that messed his mind up for the rest of his life. And I blame them. Not hereditary, I blame them. Um, if you're dealing with the police to help you, you got to stay on the phone with them. You either got to be standing by them to make sure, just like the Black Panthers used to do. You got to be either standing right there with them and doing most of the work for them. Because if you let them do the work, they will kill you. <laughs> and every time I have to call and get their help, you have to get the help. You're so afraid. They just put their knee on somebody's neck and killed them in Minneapolis. <laughs> I'm so tired of them killing these young men. <laughs> I'm so tired of them killing them. Getting away with it. It's got to stop God. We got to get together. If we don't have no power, we can't make any laws. We need to be able to find someone that we can make some kind of law for them not to be killing us like this. That any officer that, that does any force for no reason. Because they're doing it for no reason. Broken tail like you get shot in the chest and killed. Oh, God. Oh. White woman broke a taillight. She gets... And she kicks the police officer. She gets tased and put in jail. And then they didn't want to do that. Mentally ill white woman all in their faces videotaping them. And, and she said out of her mouth, If I was black, y'all gonna kill me by now. What can we do to stop the police? What can we do to stop the police from killing us and their friends? They even call their friends up and recommend their friends to kill us. And drive-bys, I don't believe in black people doing all them drive-bys. I don't. I believe police doing them drive-bys. I really do. And they friends, they do it for fun. They drive in our neighborhoods and do it for fun. And, and that's why they don't try to solve the case because they know they did it. They know they did it. That's why they don't solve cases in Illinois. Not because we don't snitch. Because we know who did it. They go on down anyway. Because that's how that goes. So that, that they don't snitch stuff. Don't believe the police and say, oh, we can't do no nothing because black people won't tell on the other black people. No, that's not it. That's because the white people doing the killing. The police are. I just, I'm so mad right now. I'm so angry right now. It's it just one after the other. And, 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 and it's getting worse under this president. I don't care what nobody says. It's gotten worse. It was bad back in the day because it was always covered up and we didn't have representation. We didn't have lawyers. They got rid of our Black Panthers. The bad, Black Panthers were invented, uh, was started just so they can watch the police not kill us. Not prevent us from going to jail if we were doing wrong but just keep them from killing us and that's why they killed the Black Panthers because they knew that they were doing some good, they, they were keeping them but they would get a kick out of collect. I believe some officers go to, go to school just to become police officers just to kill black people so they can have a notch in their belt they should take white officers out of our neighborhoods period they should not be allowed since we have separate neighborhoods, they should not be there it should not be in our neighborhoods. I've seen them drive down the street and, and make a young man take off his clothes in the middle of the street so he can see if he got a gun while he riding along in the car laughing. Police are awful to our children. And then when they grow up, they can't fight back against the police because they know they're going to get shot automatically. So they fight against each other. Think about it.
And then they put all this crap on TV. Who's paying for all this this stuff to go on TV with rap and, 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 and hardcore life and drug life and you know it, this all you push it to our neighborhood no positive and if there is a positive you think about it if you go back to Tulsa Oklahoma just go back to that one Tulsa not just Seneca not all the other places they destroyed not the when they put us in the uh, uh, devil's punch bowl not all that just just one place Tulsa Oklahoma you go back to that don't you know there were descendants some people scattered the ones that did live after they bombed them blew them up shot the area up burned down all their places they had descendants and those descendants just didn't try anymore because they were so afraid and they don't blame them and that's why they did it and people will say why you don't come up and when we do come up you kill us when we do try to do better we you kill us when we go to college and get an education you kill us we not putting the drugs in our neighborhoods you are bank of america what all that money y'all spent to have that ship come over here and bring all them drugs and they just not the ones doing it. a whole bunch of y'all guys are out there doing it. A whole bunch of them. Because we're not getting the drugs. We're not growing the drugs. When a man years ago in Indiana, he gets a $50 fine for growing a whole crop of weed. The black man got a bag about this little, he going to jail or he dying. But they going to kill him for that one little bag. I don't know what to do. People say, go back to Africa. But y'all just as bad over there. Y'all went over there and stole all the minerals and killed everybody. With the apartheid crap. So where can we go? This has got to stop. If prayer is all we got, babies. All we got to do is just keep on praying. Everybody needs to be on their knees. Praying to the God that we serve. The one that made us. All of us need to get together and just pray hard. Because something has got to change. Something has got to change. Because this president that's in there now, he's going to get all of us killed. Because he don't care. He don't care about nothing but money. He don't care about his own family. He don't care about nothing but money. And a lot of you people, black people, have gotten to the point where all they care about is money. Got my money. Make my money on. That's all. That's all. Flashing money on pictures. Flashing money on that. Don't you know that's just, just them getting you to love money instead of each other? Don't you know life would be happy if we loved each other and cared for each other? Better learn. Love is so much powerful. Love would grow a seed up and give you plenty of food. Because if you love your neighbor, your neighbor got a yard to grow it in, we're going to grow it in the neighbor's yard, and we all going to eat. So this love of money, y'all got to stop it. Got to stop it. And, and stop reading into all this crap online, you know, because most of the time, even if it's a black face on it, it's one of those people from the other side that's evil. You know, yes. Biden might have said something silly, you know, but they're going to use that. But don't use that. You know, we got to get out of this because this man right here is going to kill everybody because he don't care about the poor whites. He don't care about no rich or poor white black people. And he definitely don't care about the Mexicans or any Hispanics. He don't care about nobody but himself. Really. And money. And people who vote for him, who want him, care about money too. And that's the only reason they for him, is for money. Because they didn't gave up on love and caring for each other and loving each other. And they gave up on it. Just the world and just gave up on it. Period. It's so scary out here. Every day I think about my boys. I think about the police. I worry more about the police than I worry about any thug on the street. The police are the worst thug on the street. Kneeing folks and they getting a kick out of it.
And then they get it wrote off as nothing. And then they go kill somebody else. And then they cover that up too. This is think if he killed that one guy, he killed four or five other ones. And it got covered up. Oh, he was found in the backyard. Oh, he was found coming in a window. And that's how his middle part got crushed, even though they ran him over with a car. I'm telling you what these police are out here doing. That's what they out here doing. They're killing and covering up. That's all they're doing. In every state. And black folks sitting back voting for these folks to kill them and cover up. Well, he seemed like he nice. No, he ain't. No, he not. Because all we looking at is money. And how much money we can get this. And how much money we get that. Well, if you get the money, do something positive with it. You know, and these mothers out here. And you know that your child got a gun. You know that your child got a gun. And if your child got a gun, why? Why? If it's not legal, if he's not trained to use it, why you got a gun in your house? It's up to you to get it out. Because that gun is going to kill somebody, and then somebody going to kill your son. Take that gun out your house. You know that you didn't buy your son a pair of $200 gym shoes. And all the little girls he fooling with, ain't none of them got no money. So you need to find out where them shoes come from. You, as a mother, as a father, you need to stop it. And don't be crying and wailing when you get out here and your child get hurt and killed. And you know that your child had a gun in the house. You know your child was so-called gang banging. You know your child out here bragging, bringing you money home to pay your bills and he ain't got no job. You knew that. And it's up to you mothers to stop it. Because I told my kids. You, I will take you out of here before somebody else will. And I'd be darned if you take somebody else's child out. Everybody needs to take that motto. And then our neighborhood will be okay. Because you know what? The police got our neighborhood so scared. We scared to even chastise our own children. Ch we scared to even chastise our own children. I met so many mothers. Oh, I can't whoop them. Your son is running around the street with no shoes on. He's five years old. Well, I can't leave the house because I got this little one. And this really happened. I got this little one. I said, well, put on your hip and go get your baby. Well, if I whip him, he's so bad. If I whip him, the police going to put me in jail. And then how am I going to take care of the rest of them? That's Chicago. I'm talking about Chicago. I ain't talking about no place else. I'm talking about Chicago. I don't know what it's doing in your state. But I know what they're doing in Chicago. And I know what, that's, that's what the police are doing in Chicago. Got these mamas so afraid to even chastise their own children. Don't spank they butt. They keep them in the house. And keep them away from danger. You know. No child out there on the corner. What are you on the corner for? He's selling drugs and getting him some gym shoe money. Because you don't have it. He just won't have no gym shoes. Shoot. Pay less, got gym shoes. Thrift store got gym shoes for a dollar and twenty-five cents. Which I bet you can get up in the morning and I bet you can go to the club on the weekend. If you in the club on the weekend and your child on the corner selling drugs so he can get him some gym shoes, you ought to be beat with a strap on your butt, mother, father. It ain't just all on us. It's on the men too. We got to do better, black community. But this right here with them putting their knees in it, you know, and then what kills me with these crazy people, they'll turn right around and go to church on Sunday. Because they ain't nothing but devil worship. They ain't in no church for no God. And you didn't just need somebody neck and, and stop them from breathing and kill them. Then you always got them stupid signs up talking about, ooh, no abortions. You hollering about don't kill no baby in the womb, but you kill them once they get out the womb. If they black. Or a minority, you kill them once they get out the womb. What's the difference? Still a baby and still somebody's baby. Cause my baby's gonna be my baby till I'm a hundred years old. They still gonna be my babies, and they sixty, seventy. They still gonna be my babies, and that's somebody's baby that you put your knee in and kill, and then try to write it up as a medical condition. Ain't no medical condition. That's murder. Amar Aubrey, y'all tried to hide that stuff like y'all been hiding hundreds and hundreds of deaths in these mamas burying their babies, thinking that their babies did something. They're like my baby ain't never stole before. I don't know what he decided to steal for. Your baby ain't stole nothing. 
Only thing that was stolen was his life by these low life evil people. They think it's okay. And it's not okay. I'm upset this morning, guys, and I'm going. This, this is real. This is so real. Killing these babies like this. And it's a shame that if they don't kill your baby, you feel like I need to call. I felt like I need to call them and say thank you for not killing my child. When y'all had to take care of them, I just want to say thank you for not killing them. <sighs> Guys, I'm just, I'm emotional, but I'm just want everybody that can hear my voice. Start taking care of your household. Do what you got to do to take care of your household and keep them protected. And if you keep your household protected, you ain't got to worry about your next door neighbors if they do the same thing. And just keep doing it because the world don't want you to do it. Take care of your household. Make sure ain't nobody killing nobody. Ain't nobody going out to kill nobody. You know, hey, if they, these folks out here getting prescriptions. Prescriptions to get their weed. If your people got to smoke weed, go get your prescription. It's $125. Go get you a prescription and smoke weed like they do. Because all of them smoking it legally, growing it legally. And we black people get caught with a little bag, you're going to jail. Or you're going to the cemetery. They're going to kill us for it. So I'm going to tell you about them. They can't stand it when we smile. They can't unless we dancing for them and, and, and doing a show for them. That's the only time we're supposed to smile. But other than that, we're not supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be miserable. But people, we don't have to be. But it's up to us to start within each of our own homes. Start in your house with your children, with your family. And that stuff was spread like a like this doggone coronavirus. It was spread like coronavirus. If you start in your household, loving on each other, caring about each other, working together with each other, starting businesses with each other. Especially down this while we locked down. You got plenty of time to figure it out and think it out. Okay. Keep killing us. And it's not just the ones that you hear about on the news. Because there's so many of them that happen that y'all don't even know about. Just about every black mother can sit there and tell you about four or five other little black kids that got killed by the police or by the white man. And it, and it just went under the cover because they, they covered it up. They wrote all these lies about your child, and you know they wasn't true. And you know they wasn't true. But you got to live with that for the rest of your life. You got to live with them lies for the rest of your life. And not have your child with you for the rest of your life. I'm so angry right now. And if we start in our houses, our kids won't kill other kids. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you start in your house, your kid won't kill another kid. And then you don't have to worry about that kid killing your kid. When this starts in our homes, they don't want you to clean it up. Because that's why they're going to give you $5 million to put out a doggone video saying in, 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 word, in, 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 word. She a B, 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 B. I'm a bad B. I'm a bad B. You go on the TikTok, you see white folks repeating all this crap on their TikTok. I'm a B. I'm a B. And be some black woman's voice they mimicking. That's shameful. Shameful. I don't care how much money you getting for it. It's shameful. They on there mimicking your curse words and you calling each other and disrespecting each other. But they mimicking it. Like it's something good. Okay? They'll mimic you and make money off of you. Because you know what? You're still, they treat you still like a slave. Little girl on TikTok had a dog on dance. Little girl stole the dance and made all that money off of parents. Let her do it. So the parents, just as bad as the child. Oh, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad right now. I'm so hurt right now. Just not bad. I'm, I'm hurt. We got to start in our houses. We got to start in our houses. Start in your own house. Everything's online now. You can teach your child anything. The right thing. You don't even have to go to the library for a book. You can pull it up on your phone. Instead of just pulling up Facebook every single day. Instead of just pulling up uh, 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 fighting, hipping, hopping, fighting, or whatever you call it. 
You know, instead of pulling that up and just watch somebody fighting, watch somebody beating somebody, watch somebody slap somebody. You need to be watching somebody read a book. You need to be watching somebody get an education. You need to be watching somebody learn how to do some medical stuff, learn how to do some uh, uh, carpentry, learn how to do some art, learn how to do something. That's what you need to be watching. And watching somebody getting killed every day and maybe we'll stop getting killed. Because when something like that was happening, they let officers down there, we ought to have the right to pull that doggone officer off of him. All the officers are standing around there letting him die. Because they don't care about us. So it's up to us to start caring about each other. And that would scare the hell out the whole world if we started caring about each other. Even people from Africa know that people that were descendants of slaves don't care about each other. We got to stop it. We need to start caring about each other. Whether we mixed, all black, part black, whatever. When we descendants of slaves, we need to come together and start caring about each other. And then it will go from there like a virus. I'm telling you. It will go like a virus if we start loving each other, caring about each other, and changing our lives and our world. And it all comes through learning. First, learn about your history. Learn about where you came from. Learn about your ancestors. Learn about what they did for you to still be here. And honor that. And how you honor that is by not killing me. How you honor that is by not killing somebody who look like you. I got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown skin. Because people stand under sunlight to get this skin, honey. People burn under under rays in, 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 in a tanning bed that look like a coffin to get this skin. So if you got the skin, honor it. Honor it. Because, baby, you beautiful. Your hair is like the mountains. You ever go, I'm, I'm a truck driver, and I drive through the mountains. If you ever, ever, ever go through the mountains and look at how beautiful the mountains are, you ever notice, yeah, yeah, my hair straight today. But you know, watch my other videos, okay? Our hair is like the mountains, babies. I love black boy's hair it looks like the, 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 the grass on the mountains, like the little trees that be just growing out the mountains. be looking like our hair. So God definitely made us in his image. After he made the world, he saw how beautiful his plains were. He saw how beautiful the grass was. He saw how beautiful everything was, and he shaped our heads. And then the mountains, how they curve and go around. Black women, he made you after he made the world. That's why he gave you all them curves. Okay? That's why he made you look the way you look. You got to get out your house and drive through the mountains. And you'll see. Dang, that's why God made me. He saw all of this and said it was good. And he made me. And I'm beautiful. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it, black people. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. This is Angie and I'm doing it. I'm upset. I'm prayerful. God, please. It's only you. Your way, your way, your way. Whew. Okay. And I'm in my truck sweating. No, I don't have an APU. You know, some of y'all do. But I, right. I'm going to get out of here, go take me a shower, and get on this road and hit these thousand miles. Pray for me. I pray for you. And just babies, work in your household. Take care of your families. Do what you got to do. I am.